The results of our recent election seem to demonstrate the Latina voice and vote is rising in our community. In recognition of this trend, my guest, Norma Chavez-Peterson, has become San Diego's ACLU Associate Director. Norma, welcome to Evening Edition. Thank you so and much. Congratulations. Me. Tell us a little bit about how the ACLU has focused on Latino communities or battles here in San Diego over the past 25 years. Well, you know, we will be celebrating our 25th anniversary this coming year. And I think our founder, um, Helen Marston, founder of San Diego ACLU, began most of her focus around farm worker rights in the Imperial Valley. So that was our initial work over the last 25 years we have played a major role around Latino issues, specifically around Escondido. They passed an anti-immigrant rental ordinance in 2006, where if somebody looked like me, a landlord could ask for your immigration status. We, uh, we took that to the courts and we were able to, you know, to not have that go into effect. And we've since really been focused around the question around local law enforcement and their collaboration with immigration as it pertains to not just checkpoints, but in general kind of practice. So definitely going after some of those uh, legal issues, but also you headed out a major, you know, get out the vote campaign that focused on Latino voters in Escondido uh, in the November election. What'd you do with that? Well, you know, our campaign was called Nuestro Voto, Nuestro Futuro, or Our Vote, Our Future. And really what we did is we began um, in Escondido recognizing that there was a real need for civic participation and voter education in the Latino community. Latinos are 49% of the population, but only make up about 14% of the electorate and have very low voter participation. Right, 10%, I believe, in the 10, primary election. 10, yeah, 10% in the primary. So we began with an effort to, you know, contact voters one-on-one -on -one to have those conversations to really break down for folks, number one, how does voting affect my life? What are the issues that are on this November's ballot that impact my quality of life? And those were the kinds of conversations we were having. What's, what's holding them back? So you've got them to register a little bit more, but certainly the voter turnout is so low. So what is there a fear? Uh, what, what's sort of culturally holding back Latino voters from, from voting? Well, I think, well, number one, we have made major progress. So I think we've seen nationally and even in, in this county that Latinos are turning out to vote in record numbers, and we saw it across the, the country. I think there's still a lot of work that needs to be done, and I think this crosses you know, lots of, of, of cultural lines, but the reality is that all voters need to make the connection between how does my vote matter, does it really matter? And I think the best way to do that is talking to people, educating them about what's at stake, and, and making those connections. And so I think we've made great strides since Prop 187. Um, you know, it's been, it's been quite some time that we've seen this awakening of the sleeping giant, as they used to say. And it's, it's not just obviously the ACLU isn't just a Latino-based or focused uh, organization. What other uh, outreaches or what other things are you doing here in uh, San Diego as far as like uh, foreign uh, language speakers or things like that that you're trying to... Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, ACLU, obviously, we're, we're about protecting all people under the law. And so our issues are not just Latino issues. I mean, it's really about advancing and protecting civil liberties and civil rights. Latinos, given that we're a, such a large percentage of the population obviously become really important, but so do any other vulnerable communities. And so I think um, some of the other issues that we work on at our local ACLU are issues around criminal justice reform, which obviously have huge impacts, not just to the Latino community, but African American community, um, as well as issues around equality, marriage equality, right? Um, as a woman, you know, issues around reproductive access and reproductive rights. So there's a lot of issues that we work on that are not Latino specific issues. They're just really about advancing the values of fairness and equity. What would you like to see if you could rattle off maybe your top three, uh, the ACL you kind of tackle or focus on uh, in this coming year? Well, I think there, one thing is we've seen the national conversation um, begin to move around comprehensive immigration reform. I think given that we're at the border, we're a border affiliate, I think playing a, an important role in making sure that we have a voice in immigration reform, as well as you know, issues around educational equity. 
All right, we are out of time. Norma Chavez-Peterson, thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you.